wow. As soon as I start to speak, I start coughing. I get a, my throat just cl closes up on me there, guys. My bad. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. My hair is doing something crazy. Welcome back to my channel. It's Leonice here. And today, I'm going to be doing a subscription box unboxing. But before I get to that, make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. And after you click the subscribe button, look, 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 look. After you click the subscribe button, make sure you click the little bell so you can be notified of our future uploads. And... That's it, so let's get into this box. Today I am unboxing Julep. Y'all know this is one of my favorite subscription. I say that all the time, y'all. I know I do. I like, this is one of my favorite subscription boxes because, you know, I can pick all the, all the products that I want for that month and literally, y'all, every single month I choose them. I go in the day it opens and I forget which products I chose. I will have in the drop down down below how much the subscription box costs. I will also have my referral link where you can subscribe and if you choose not to use my referral link, which is absolutely fine, I will have the link to Julep's website where you can subscribe there as well. So let's get into what I got in this box. We're gonna go ahead and open her up and I'm gonna take this paper out and all right, so here we go. This month they give they gave us a 30% off coupon off of your next purchase. And oh, they also gave us some clean slate nail polish remover pads as a sample this month. That's cool. You know, I feel like this must be a new thing that uh, Julep is doing where they're giving out samples of their, some of their products because last month I had a sample in my box and I clearly didn't flip over this little card that came with it because I was trying to figure out where they came from. I was like, oh, just samples, I'll take them. And it also comes with this other little booklet type thing and on the top or the front it says spring is when life's alive and everything and that's Christina Rossetti. And then I, on the inside is highlighting the Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum. I've never tried this product by Julep, but maybe I will in the future. Uh, it says, it's a secret weapon, supercharged, wait. The Mighty Nail and Cuticle Serum secret weapon is supercharged peptides that build keratin for your nails and collagen for your cuticles. See results for dry and damaged cuticles almost overnight and stronger nails in just two to three weeks. Yeah, so if this is available for next month, I will be adding that because I feel like since I've polished my nails so often that my nails are not as strong as they could be and I feel like my cuticles are, you know, probably a little bit dry too. So I'm actually gonna add that next month. Is my curl doing something weird over here, y'all? I, I don't know. And that is it for that. Uh, the first product that I have is the Julep Gel Eye Glider in a brown shade. So I've been trying to, normally I wear black eyeliner every day and I feel like that can be a little bit harsh sometimes. So I try, I'm trying to like switch them and do brown. I just feel like brown looks so weird because I guess cause I'm so used to seeing black. You know when you're so used to seeing something on you, when you change it up, you're like, do I look dead? Do I look weird? I don't know. But I actually ended up buying a brown eyeliner from Wet n Wild and it's super duper pigment. I actually thought it was a brow pencil when I brought it, bought it, but I didn't read the uh, packaging. So when I bought it, I used it as a brow pencil. And then I was like, this is super duper pigment. Like this can't be a brow pencil. And then I looked, I was like, hey, it's an eyeliner. But by that time I had already added this to my box and I couldn't go in and change it. So I am going, I am going to uh, include this one as my brown eyeliner as well. You see how pigment this is, like this almost looks black, but I think this would be a nice little switch up to my black eyeliner. I love these eyeliners from Julep. They're like, uh, I don't know how much they are. I'll have the price of the drop down, but they're a little hmm, kind of pricey maybe. And y'all, I really, I really want to know how much they are. So let me just look real quick. So, you know, Okay, so no, they're not expensive. They're 16, well, they're not super expensive. They're $16, but the quality is amazing. Like, you saw how pigmented that was, and that was just one little swipe. And they last all day without really fading. They may smudge a little bit, but y'all know to keep your eyeliners from smudging, you can just put some eyeshadow primer on your lids, or, and then it won't, cause you know how sometimes like your eyeliner will transfer like in your crease throughout the day. But if you put eyeshadow primer on your eyes, 
it will keep the eyeliner from cre uh, transferring up to your crease. Fun little fact there, a little tip for you. But yeah, so I'm gonna add this and if you want a good eyeliner, this is one that I would highly recommend. And it's also good for your waterline because it will not smudge, it will not run down your face. You will not have raccoon eyes in a few hours after applying it. This is definitely an eyeliner that I recommend. The next product that I added is the Oxygen Nail Treatment Base and it says that it's a in an independent lab test polished with oxygen technology let 30 percent more air reach nail beds than leading polish brands and this kind of like kills your nails after you've been wearing your polish for a while like i said i do my nails like two times a week and you know after a while that can have that really wears on your nails and your nails will start peeling and they just kind of get bit brittle. My nails are not really brittle to be honest. They actually are very, very strong, most of them, but they still will peel sometimes. And this, the features and benefits of this nail polish are that it smooths and strengthens weak, brittle nails, improves oxygen permeability, encourages strong, healthy growth with less breakage and splitting. And in a consumer perception survey, it says the 80% of percent agree to reduces peeling after one day, 93% agree to treats thin, weak nails after seven days, and 95% agree to condition, strengthens, and hardens natural nails after 14 days. So that is why I bought this nail polish, just to give, to switch up my normal nail routine since I'm not always wearing this kind of pot, like actual polish on my nails. So I said like every, like maybe once a month, I will go in with this nail treatment here and keep this on for like a week or two. And which is gonna be weird, but I got the sheer sh shimmer so it can have look like I have something on my nails so I'm not sitting here with just in the nude. Cause oh my God, y'all, I would just feel so uncomfortable. So this might have to be a weekend nail polish cause I am used to colors on my nails. And <laughs> the last product that I added to my subscription box this month is a buildable lengthening mascara. And I have never used their mascaras before, but this packaging, y'all, is amazing. Like, it is this gunmetal, um, heavy duty plastic tube here. And this is the same, I guess, plastic, gunmetal plastic that they use for their brushes. And let's see. Oh, I wasn't expecting this, but this is what the brush looks like. It's just kind of, the bristles on it are super short, as you can see. And, which I guess I was expecting this because lengthening ones are usually, the bristles are spread out wider from each other and they're shorter than most mascara brushes. So I'm excited about trying this because like I said, I've never used a Julep mascara and I just want to see what's going to happen if this is going to work because my lashes are kind of short and you know I look at my nephew's lashes and I'm always so jealous because he has like these wispy lashes and I'm just like why? Why can't I have those? Like I'm a woman, why can't I have those lashes? Then I wouldn't have to put so much mascara on but whatever. That is it for this subscription box. Let me know which products you liked in this box and if this is a cool subscription box that you would like to actually subscribe to. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up so that I can know to continue to do these videos or continue to do these videos for you guys. And I will see you all back here on tomorrow for Mass Monday. And y'all enjoy the rest of your Sunday. See you later.